California from Sydney. When you look at it on tape, it might use the right uppercut to fight according to comp. But early, he has nothing of a lot of people. He has on him, so he's coming to try to perform. Uh, young boy, the Perez team, the, friend, the official belt took a big left hook by Brunner. As a real boxer, but Roy Ponce de Leon rear is a boxing skills. Really good defense with his shoulders, and it's very difficult for fights quick hands and power to go with it. Slept. But Perez took it really good. That's what surprised me, because he's been down twice in his career. But he took a good, a good corner left hook. Does attack. Him. He's very relaxed in there here in round one. What you don't like is the taller fight hook. He fainted the jab and led with left hook and landed right on the nose. Great. That round five of them with power connects. I don't like Perez backing up from, from Bronner so much because, and, and that might not be a good thing for Perez. He's younger than most of them. Bronner steps up. He's using that jab very good with Bronner. Good hook. Runs fights out of the corner. Gets away from some danger. That guy has been in this situation. He's always relaxed, even though it's not uh, in his control completely right now. I mean, he's winning, but he's not totally controlled yet because he hasn't. Where Brown is able to get that jab and get the range going. Yeah, he's backing up from a taller fighter. This allows the taller fighter to use jab and that at all times, mentally and physically. So as you see, Eloy starting to breathe hard. But he has. He'll take a lot away from this fight either way it comes out. Talk about the learning curve in terms of Broner's boxing skills. Well, they trade big shots. Broner's had a better effect. Perez hurt on a right to the ear. As he, was he also landed a big left hook late in that round. Yeah, let me talk to the. You love that. You gotta love that. Especially after his fight, he felt Broner was rushing things. That's right. Excited. He talked about he was better with his. They're like like bad with his feet as they think. But but he can move them. That's exactly right. That hurt. Left hand hurt. Perez point to the back. Pretty flush. Out of your life. Not needing to. That's exactly right. He uses his shoulders and his upper body for defense more so than anything else. But when you get in with a dog, it takes part of your confidence. As Broner pointed out, heading into the fight, look, this is a junior lightweight who punches like a featherweight, and I'm a junior lightweight who punches like a middleweight. Go, 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 go. To indicate that he's much higher. Right. Second one. Good nice shot. Well, the other problem, greater punches to get in there. Yeah, well, he's allowing Broner to stay in punching range because I'm Broner to come forward all to like that. Jab, work double and triple. But he can't punch Broner in his body, and Broner covers up his body pretty well. Yes, he does. And he camouflages very well. It's like he's about to be in, never been in this class before. Good right hand by Broner. Perez tries to respond at the end of Redman that he has toward Harold Letterman, our unofficial ringside scorer. Okay, Bob, let me ask you a question. Who do you know that beat Adrian Broner standing right in front of him? It's impossible. Eloy Perez is standing right in front of him for three rounds. Three and oh, nothing, oh, oh, 30 oh, oh, oh. to 27, Adrian Broner. I mean, he's landing the harder shots. He's the bigger puncher. Broner's not there. Watch that. That's absolutely fantastic, the way Broner does it. I love that. And 11, what the heck, would sweat. He's going to wish he didn't have him. Three the showmanship of Broner, too, as he got into that Broner and used what he thinks is his straight to him. It doesn't matter. And like I said, the biggest thing for Broner is he's keeping his pressure on breathing, and, and Perez is not used to that. He's never fought a fighter to keep oh, this kind of oh, pressure oh, on like Gary. Yes, he has. Something different? Right in front of uh, Ed either. But like I told you, this is why I said... When he walks to the ring, Kevin Cunningham, who's Devin Alexander, when he's in town, he's like a nephew to me, developing a fan base. Now. Good straight right hand and down goes Perez. Two, three, four, five. And he's not going to make it. Hand coming straight. He, he fainted, got close enough to him, and hit him right down the middle with the right hand. You couldn't ask for a cleaner right hand. He had just fainted him and got that close with it, with it right before that, and that's when I saw it coming. And there again, he saw a, a, a second one behind. Oh, no way you possibly can get out the way of that punch. And Adrian came in rapping, and he goes. The told the story in this.